Hello and welcome to episode 11 of our Cobalt Stand campaign. So it's been a while since I personally played this. I was gone on vacation with my family and so the last couple of episodes were all pre-recorded but we are back to a more regular uploading uh, schedule here. Uh, but it has been over a week since I last touched the game, so I am going to have to reorient myself a little bit here. Uh, so we obviously were playing as the nation of Kobolstan. We started off as Red Scale. Uh, we already reformed into a technocracy, and we started to make our way down our Republic mission tree. And I remember I was having some problems over here in Ipor Pontu as I needed to get local production to over 25%, and I wasn't sure how I was going to do that. Uh, but there's actually going to be an easy way to do that that someone pointed out and that's this local production efficiency plus 50 percent in a workshop something so simple so obvious and yet i completely overlooked it uh but uh shout out to the person in the comments i can't remember their name at the moment but i do appreciate all of the advice given to me we'll just build a workshop right there and that will fix that mission i don't need to go through and do crazy things to get production efficiency i just need to build a building now, I also need some naval supplies, and I currently have how many? One, two, three, four. I have four, and I need five. Now, Appleton does have one, so if I integrated them, that would solve that problem. Uh, if I take one off of Duran, that could also do it. Uh, one of a colony of mine, when I set it up, if that gets it, then that would also probably complete it. Or we go up into Bjarnrik or something like that. Uh, as for our diplomacy, we finally got our first ally, Vertesk. I think, yeah, our monstrous level is at minus one. So we're just waiting for the final event to fire. That way we're no longer monstrous. Uh, the people will like us a heck of a lot more, uh, which would be very, very good. We have no aggressive expansion, except for with Gawed, uh, because we have simply been attacking Duran and Laurent for money, though that's probably going to change somewhat soon. I do want to go and take some land off of Duran as I don't want them to become any stronger than they already are. I have let them eat a bit too much of Laurent, if you ask me. So we'll start making our way down and taking some states off of them, uh, including our claims that we need for our mission tree, I'm going to assume, because I don't remember uh, getting that. All right, I need, to I need to move into the Broken Isles at Thamaria. All of those things we can do. All right, so we do have a bunch of money and we are making pretty good money because of war reps. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to build up a bunch of Artificer Infantry. They cost 50 each, 50 each, but they're very, they're worth it. All right, they are very worth it. They're going to be very strong and we just need to do it and, and just deal with it. Um, now we are currently doing research for more artifice rate things, and that will be up in uh, quite a few years, about eight years. So we are gonna have to wait for that. Uh, what other things could I, yeah, we didn't get, we got uh, dragon scale plating, which is pretty good. Minus 20% shock damage received. So we may be implementing that in a future war that is upcoming. But yeah, we just need to make money and build some more buildings, I think. Right here, any rebel problems? Uh, eventually, yes, but they are slowly but surely uh, going away and I think we can actually just fully get rid of them if we pay for our troops just a little bit That might be enough to uh, make them go bye-bye Yeah, look at that. All right. Say goodbye to all those rebels Monstrous borders Hmm Now you are allied to Alan say in Covenblad And I have a claim and I have no aggressive expansion, which means that I should definitely go for this war, right? Yeah, you know what? We'll start off with the bank. We'll go for some more. I know that we are currently trying to complete expansion ideas. Um, and we'll need, obviously we'll need admin points to do that, but that's okay. Uh, let's continue to explore here. Uh, a clear horse? Sure, I'll renounce that claim. Uh, and let's move our troops on up north here to get ready for that. Fully pay for the troops. There we go. There are all of our Artificer infantry ready to rock and roll. We'll send them up north as well to help out in the war. Keep exploring. Um, let's go for the Broken Sea since I need to start colonizing in that area. Ooh, we have people rising up over here. Why is that? Okay, we do have someone protecting one. Duranic. Oh, right. Uh, Kobold Delir is Duranic because we took a lot of land off of Duran. 
Uh, let's send these troops up here to take care of them. And then we're going to need to start thinking about going at uh, Thamaria. I think Thamaria is going to be our best bet. So we'll need to keep that in mind. All right, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry to do this, but uh, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I'm not sorry in the slightest. Sorry to uh, have baited you like that. But uh, I hate you. And I would... Ooh. Mercantilism or money? I'm going to take the money there. Yeah, the money sounds really good there. Uh, there we go. And we are now equal amongst men. Long has been our journey, but finally we have proven to all those who have doubted us that we are true and respectable members of the civilized and international community, whether they like it or not. Long are the days of kobold zani people being slaughtered by bands of greedy adventurers. No, now we are the quest givers. That's right. You pesky humies can't be calling us monsters anymore. So now people don't hate us as much. And in fact, there are people that really kind of like us. Which is nice. Now, when I peace out of this war, how are, how are people going to feel about that one? They're going to feel great. It's going to get the only person that's currently in a truce or in a coalition against us out. That's our truce with Laurent done. Unfortunately, uh, I cannot go to war with Laurent. They are outside of my uh, war deck abilities, which is sad because they do have only 5,000 troops. Uh, and I would like to take advantage of that. Now, small countries allied to Vertesk. I am also allied to Vertesk. Uh, somehow I have 78 favors with them already. I I don't know how. We didn't ally them that long ago. Um, okay, that's weird. But that means that I can attack small country pretty much for free, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so let's start to build a spy network on these guys here. I would like to get at least a border with Laurent. Uh, I know that Red Glades should have, yes, lots of land that we can reconquest down here. Lots and lots of land, which would be really nice because there are some very, very good provinces down here. Ooh, damn steer. Uh, that we can get for basically free for reconquest. And I don't see any reason why we shouldn't do that. Uh, let's go ahead and send these troops on over to Alensei. You guys can come and loot. Foreign plots are Republican tradition. When's our next election? 1597. One year. Oh, right. We have a powerful mage. I forgot about that. Uh, what was he good at again? Uh, renowned transmutation. Right. Well, I don't want to lose a stab, so I'm going to do that. Uh, Cabinet of Curiosities. Yep. We'll go ahead and we will gain some innovativeness. We are currently up to 46. Not too shabby. Not great. But not too shabby. Uh, we're very far behind on admin and diplotech. <laughs> very far behind. Uh, and this war is not going to help that. But uh, I do think it is important for us to take this land anyways. Uh, it's either we take it or Vertesk takes it. Or someone else takes it. And I don't want any of those. Uh, we are trying to get humans up to integrated. Uh, we're having a bit of a change of heart here. They're already up to coexisting. We went from expelling them to being like, yeah, you're cool. Pretty fast. Not sure if I was, uh, a, you know, a human, as I am. Uh, I'm definitely a human. That'd be crazy if I wasn't. Um, if I'd be too chill with the kobolds going from, I'm expelling you to, look, we're, we're cool now, right? Like, we're all, we're all cool. It's like, no, I <laughs> don't think so. I don't think that's how that works. I'm just saying. Ooh, Ibovar is in a big war. Okay. Uh, as for our age ability here, let's go for blockade impact on siege. Sure. Uh, election. We could keep him. He is a mage. Um, he is 64, but honestly, I think we just elect someone new. Uh, he's not fantastic, necessarily. Uh, I would rather just get a bureaucrat that is younger. Ooh, improve relations. Well, we're not going to be re-electing him. Uh, in fact, let's just turn him into a general and hope that he dies. Uh, oh. Oh, never mind. That was weird. It was the other guy. Oh, the other guy got reduced to relations. This one gives us aggressive expansion impact. He's staying. <laughs> he is staying. Uh, Adventures of Kobold Stand. So now that we are no longer monstrous, we have adventures. And we get to choose uh, how we want them to, you know, join our country. And I think we go for the Chroniclers. Uh, institution spread and innovativeness gain is way worth trading out mercenary manpower. I can't imagine a world in which that's not worth it. We will give them generous quest rewards and also pioneer initiatives for that plus 10 global settlers. Uh, that should keep them fairly loyal. Yes, it does. 
So that is pretty, pretty good. All right, let's go for their capital and let's move these guys up and in to loot. Let's make sure we are still exploring, of course. Uh, go for the Broken Sea Coast, please. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we have a new government reform we need to do. Wow, we're really far down here. Uh, morale of armies or landholders. Yeah, definitely morale of armies. <laughs> uh, that counteracts the minus 10 morale of armies that we get from simply being kobolds, so that's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and take whatever money we can. Money, war reps, go ahead and give up a core somewhere. Um, give up your claims to give me a little bit of prestige. And I suppose we need a, uh, a diplomat, huh? That would probably help. There we go. You are gone. Now, who's in charge right now? Uh, okay, the Brillites are. So we have cheaper advisors. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah, I would say four crowns for a level three advisor is pretty freaking good. Uh, let's go trade efficiency. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Okay, you're making their way to their capital. Uh, from Covenblad, I would like max money and war reps, preferably. Uh, we can go ahead and mothball some of these forts, I think. Uh, like, these ones are good to go. These ones have to stay up, though, as they are on the front border. Now, I know someone mentioned that they wanted me to build a fort here. Uh, the problem with that is that they will just walk around. <laughs> They'll just walk around it right down through here. Uh, the AI will be able to do that. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe if I build it up here, then it will stop them from ruining our land totally. It would at least start to get rid of the devastation. Uh, it is something that I should at least consider. And uh, we will do that when we can. For sure, for sure, for sure. Here we go. We are just looting stuff for right now. That is fine. There is their army. Okay, that's fully looted. You move forward. So is that. You move forward. It's the great thing about kobolds. You can just get a lot of money from just looting things. Yep, and just slowly but surely convert everything. Uh, are there any humans that we can accept? No, but we could accept the halflings. We'll think about it. I need the points right now for other things, but maybe. Uh, we'll go for the Calamity Pass. Why not? Uh, okay, we have their capital, so that should get us out of this war. No, it does not. Okay, well, then I shall continue to loot you. Uh, you have made this decision. I'm just saying. There we go. 82% war score. For war reps and money? What? Oh, no, I have 80... Okay, I have 82% war score on them. Look, it's been a while. Okay, I have played you for like a week, and I've already forgotten everything. Uh, come on back, boys. War is over. War is over. There we go. Our colony is fully done. That's nice. Go ahead. Give me your money. Get rid of whatever cores you can on me. Yeah. All of them, please. You do not deserve these cores. They were rightfully never yours, to be fair. Just saying. Uh, that's an ugly way to get rid of cores, but you know what? It works. And Gawed is gone. Gone, gone, gone. That's what you get for existing, Gawed. All right, core all of that up. Go ahead and mothball all of the forts. And let some time pass. We'll go ahead... Ooh, printing press. Ooh, I can't sell titles because I have no factions. And I have no merchants, so I can't... Uh... Hmm, so I can't, you know, take out those loans either. Hmm, don't know what I'm going to do there. Uh, okay, so I need to start getting towards the Maria. Um, the best way to do that is going to be to colonize this. Uh, one problem is I don't have access over to them. Uh, Tornair, are you willing to just give me access for a moment here? You are. Perfect. The perks of not being a monster. People will just give you access. So I'll send them, I'll walk through, then we'll have a border with Samaria, then we can get claims, and then we can go to war, and everything will be pretty sweet. Uh, we can go ahead and cancel our, our access right away now. Alright, uh, let's go for the South South Ocean here, an alien tier, that would be good. Uh, I do not want to welcome the mages, please. We are, uh, we are good artificers, we do not want mages in our country, that's disgusting. How dare you even assume that I would want such a thing. Uh, put all of our troops right here and stop paying for them as they are quite expensive. Quite expensive, yes. Uh, allies, Vertesk, you probably have some money, don't you? Uh, apparently I already did that. <laughs> uh, I could do it here again in just a few months, actually, so we will do that. For sure, for sure. 
Yeah, because I'd like to take tech, but if I can get it cheaper, then obviously I, I want to do that. Uh, ooh, do I want this other colonist? Yeah, probably. I probably do. Uh, so let's send him... Oh, right, I forgot. I forgot. It's going to take a long time. Only 14,000 more days, guys. Only 14,000 more days. Uh, oh, we do need to actually have more than zero for our colonies. Uh... Sure. Send one there and split, and you guys can go here. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Saxon Zald will gain some defensiveness. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and stay there. Thanks. I hope that no one ever sieges that down again, this game. That would be... That means something that's gone terribly wrong. But sure. <laughs> I don't see a problem with that. More defensiveness is always welcome. Uh, what's Nazca Everin doing well the last time we saw them? Uh, I no longer think they are doing well. <laughs> they are kind of dying. Oh, right, and the command's going nuts this game. Right, yes, they were in Bulwar before 1600. Yeah, and the centaurs are also doing good. Oh, boy. Luckily, those guys are far away, and hopefully we'll never have to deal with them. And I will just keep saying that until I forget that they exist. Uh, yeah, sure, y'all can have access. That is perfectly fine. Uh, small country. If I... Can I threaten you? Can I threaten war? I guess I should make the claim first. There we go. Now, can I threaten war? No, but they're close. Relative strength of alliances, provinces on a core, relative worth. I mean, it's 5 dev, man. Is 5 dev really worth your country? I'm just saying, it doesn't really seem worth your country. You're just lucky yet. Well, actually... Oh, no! Well, there goes that whole plan. Oh, man! Uh... Vassalization? Yes! They will accept it. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. They actually will. If I can get a border with them, they will actually accept that. Uh, okay, swell country. Well, originally... I was going to wait to do this, but uh, I see an opportunity here that I just cannot pass up. Just cannot pass up. Our explorer died also, by the way. Uh, where's our boats? Where did I send them? I don't even know where I sent them. Right here. Oh no, guess what's a different explorer? They're still alive. Cool. Mitra Slay Werewolves, that's great. What? Oh, there's actually a lot of natives here. Oh. Okay. Minus 18? Damn. I mean, we are losing a lot of money from uh, corruption and such, but... Okay, uh, yeah, go ahead and explore. Alright. Small country, let's make this fast, man. Unless you're willing to be ant vassalized. Nope, because you have too much dev. Okay. Uh, Vertesk, go ahead and break your alliance with small country. Thank you. I'm the only ally you will ever need. Uh, small country. Can I just threaten war? I could. But I went through all that work of breaking that alliance, so instead... <laughs> instead, I'm gonna make sure that I also make a hell of a lot of money off of you. Uh, sorry about that. But this is just the way it has to be. I won't take much land for myself. Keyword, for myself. <laughs> I do have a vassal, though, that would really appreciate having some land, I'm sure. I'm sure they would. Uh, 3,000. How much does this cost? 74. That's a lot. 74 is a lot. Instead, we'll just double stack right there. Uh, there's only 1,500 here. So, we can probably send you there. That'll work. Gibbard wants access. Ad at war with admin cost and burn. Uh, not sure why you'd need access through me for that, but okay. Uh, we can go fight their troops. Kobold troops might be bad, but, uh, there ain't much worse than halfling military. Not, yep, nothing much worse than halfway military. Uh, you only have two. Oh, can we catch them? I think we can. Oh, they gotta wait! You sneaky little halflings. That's fine. Alright. Uh, all I want in this war is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Well, first of all, I want to catch them. There we go. Yep, nothing much worse than halflings. Um, come back down here and start looting. You... I mean... 
Adventurer's loyalty equilibrium would be cool, I guess. Finishing off our national ideas would also be nice. Artillery combat ability, land fire damage, naval maintenance modifier. But we're four behind in tech. But we haven't even embraced institution yet. We'll take it. All right, kobold junk ships. Historically, the survival of the gnomish peoples on islands like Nimsgod was due to the fact that kobolds loathed water and never had any proper navy. Until now. Under the command of junkyard owner Shizak's Lexa, Kobold Zan commissioned its first navy in 1734, which was all made of metal junk. The very same navy ended up circumnavigating the entire world in 1747. Naval maintenance modifier minus 10%. We're a little early. <laughs> We're just that good. We are just that good. Yeah, you can all have access. It's fine. That is fine by me. Okay, so you need to get your relations up. And our trust needs to go up. And distance between borders. Look at that. If I can get a border with them, we're only five away, which is within the margin of uh, getting them in through favors. Uh, Westham, also very large. I, cr I killed Laurent and created two monsters. Great. But at least I allied one of the people that got large off of the war. Uh, Bjornrick's actually friendly with me right now, which is interesting, to say the least. Um, because I want these two provinces. I want them bad enough to where I probably am going to go to war for them. I would like to hone this whole coastline right here, at least. Uh, yeah. As I think it just makes sense. It's natural borders. It's in a trade note. I mean, eventually, I'm, I'm, I would like to move up and take a lot of this part of Garudia uh, on the coast to get these centers of trade, but uh, we will see how that works out in the end. Uh, that will not necessarily be the easiest of tasks. Okay. Oh, you got a level 4 fort up just in time. You sneaky son of a gun. You're a sneaky one. Alright, send all of my cannons on over to uh, North Viswal here. We are going to need them. Yep, go ahead and explore. Shore, uh, South Alien to your coast. Taking their capital. But I do want to get access to uh, Viswals. I would like to give that over to my vassal if I can. Uh, I at least want... Let's see. The least amount I need, though, is just this. I need this. That way I have a border with red lanes. Uh, the rest of this, though, can be handed over to my vassal, Appleton. As it is really good land uh, that I would like to have. Sure, humans can migrate. I don't really care. Uh, sell Maldor. Definitely production. That's a center of trade. Uh, Separatists don't matter. So we're just waiting for this. And then we'll be good. So I take uh, I take these two. I take max money. And I take war reps. Uh, let's make sure that we are looting semi-efficiently here. Uh, all of this is already going to be looted down to the ground. You guys come over here and help out. Sure, that'll be good. Nice, nice, nice. Making good money. Well, I, I don't want to say we're making good money. We are paying for the war. <laughs> That's what we're doing here. Nice. North Viswal is fully occupied. Let's transfer that over onto Appleton. Can I actually take both? Uh, no. People are a little bit too upset about that. I could wait and improve relations. But, uh, yeah, it is going to be a little bit too much for now. So, we just will not take South Viswal. That's okay. Uh, and we'll take this. Which is fine. That gives us a little bit less aggressive expansion so I can actually take things off of Duran when I do go toward them semi-soon. Uh, and we can keep the peace short. That It doesn't bother me. Alright, there we go. So now, we should be pretty close to being able to embrace this. Yeah, very close. Incredibly close. Like, almost there. Uh, Red Glades. Distance between borders should go away. They're down to negative 11. Not same religious group, economic base, and my Diplo rep. All of that can be and will be fixed. I hope. I mean, Diplo rep, uh, yeah, we're only at minus one because we're Cobalt Administration. That can be fixed through an advisor. That is not an issue. Uh, let's go down to not paying for our troops. Well, partially paying for our troops. There we go. Uh, start converting some more. Awesome. Now with you, we just need to make sure that we are using our favors correctly and increasing trust to its max. Uh, we'll go ahead and embrace the institution. Take admin tech. Oh, okay. Now we're only three behind. 
Uh, we are focusing admin here. I think we flip over to Diplo Focus. That way these two are even and we are doing both of those in a timely fashion. Gawetti Separatists. Okay, I mean, we have Gawetti Separatists that are rising up anyway, so we do actually have to immediately raise the uh, the maintenance. And let's, uh, let's let you all meet here. That way I can make a semi-decent stack. Uh, military Theory, 50 military power. Thank you. Global Trade has spawned over here in the Dame's Head. Uh, that should actually spread to us fairly quickly. Oh, goodness me. 71,000 troops. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take an ally with 71,000 troops. Wow. I, I mean, that was unexpected. They're not that big, but okay. Sure. I, I won't complain as long as you want to ally me. Uh, so that should spread to us very, very quickly through... Uh, as long as these guys like each other. E they don't hate each other. They're friendly. So... Uh, Mad Artificer threatens loss of stability. No, I'm good. Thank you, though. Uh, we can state up the Goed province. That's that's great. That's really great news. Uh, let's go smack these rebels real quick. All in good time. We will have the Red Glades as a vassal of ours. And it seems that one of our colonies did end up turning over to uh, naval supplies. Yes, it did. This one right here. So we can complete uh, ensure naval supply. So if we are to ensure that our fleet stays competitive, we must make sure that our supply of wood is secured. That way, even in times of crisis, it will be far easier to replenish our fleets. Minus 20% naval maintenance modifier for 50 years. Now we need to sell our metals. We need iron and copper. And you know what else I forgot to do? I forgot to build this uh, this workshop. So we're going to do that before I, before I leave today. Uh, no matter how long it takes. All right, an election? Uh, yeah, we're going to keep them. Yeah, deal with these pesky rebels. Okay, well, we take a loan. I suppose that is one way to get the money for it. So let's get that production efficiency up and going. And we also need to actually develop this province. Uh, up to 15. So yeah, we're going to have to wait for some Diplo points to do that. Because obviously if it's going to be a gold mine, I, I want it to be worth it. <laughs> Like, that seems kind of important. I don't just, you know, have a, a bunch of military development on a gold mine. That would be perhaps not the greatest idea in the world. Is it something I would do? Yeah, it absolutely is. But this time, I'm not going to do something like that. We're going to be smart. That's right. Uh, Vassalization, we are currently at minus 11. Their economic base is growing, which is uh, a bit unfortunate, to be fair. A bit unfortunate. Treason against us. Uh, I'll take the professionalism. Thank you. We could state something up. Uh, I'm not worried about stating it up right now. Right now is not the uh, most important thing on my list. Let's go ahead and lower maintenance down quite a bit. And let's uh, see if we have any good buildings. That's a decent building. Uh, those are definitely, definitely worth it. Uh, that will pay themselves back pretty well. Uh, I mean, the main the main reason that we're losing money is, one, we have one loan, but also, two, uh, we're paying off so much corruption. I mean, 11 crowns a month for corruption is quite significant. And that will be going down as we take technologies, so that'll be pretty sweet. Uh, we could colonize more. The question is, where do we want to do that? Uh, does this have any natives? It does. It has 300 of them. Are these transports or are these my uh, exploring ships? Ah, they're my exploring ships. Okay, keep exploring. Um, I suppose I can just ask Tornanair for access again. Oh, I can actually vassalize them. That's funny. Uh, I don't really need to do that, though. I can just wait for them to colonize things, then I can take them out. They are guaranteed by the Magisterium, who won't even join right now because they're in a bunch of debt. Huh. Would they defend their colony? They would, but neither one of the Magisterium's allies would join. Huh, okay. All right, well, at least I know what we're doing the next one. Uh, in the next one, I think we're going to be focusing more on colonial stuff again. We're going to be going at the Magisterium. We're going to be going at Tornanair. We're going to be colonizing some more. I think it'll be good to, you know, ensure our dominance of Dallaire, our total hegemony, and then start moving in at Thamaria. Uh, obviously, I want to start moving down into this valuable land down south as well. But the most important thing to do with our current admin points is to take techs and uh, finish expansion probably would also be good. 
Uh, but yeah, I think that is where we are going to leave it for today. I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.